Andre Leon Talley is one of the leaders of the fashion industry, a former editor of the American Vogue, and reportedly the first African-American arbiter of refined taste. The Gospel According to Andre, an affectionate fly-on-the-wall portrait of Tally, made by director Kate Novak, is a very personal tribute to a man who was raised by his grandmother in the most modest circumstances in Durham, North Carolina. I don't live for fashion, he declares at the outset. I live for beauty and style. Fashion is fleeting. Style remains. One commentator describes Andre as an operatic figure, and he certainly appears that way. He's a large, imposing man, invariably clothed in a cape, often with a turban and copious amounts of jewellery. His grandmother was his first mentor. His second was Vogue editor Diana Vreeland, of whom Andre speaks with the greatest respect and affection. It was her encouragement and support that allowed him to become such an important figure in the world of fashion. And it was, he says, Julia Child who sparked his interest in all things French, a language he speaks fluently. Novak's film looks at the personal side of the man, not that he has much of a one. He claims he's never experienced love, and that he wishes he could have found someone with whom he could share his life. But I love my career, he says, and that for Andre is clearly the most important thing. Scenes filmed towards the end of 2016 show Andre anxiously awaiting the result of the presidential election. He's a Clinton supporter and fears for a Trump presidency, but he's gracious enough to comment favorably on Melania Trump's inauguration gown. The Gospel, according to Andre, is a warm-hearted portrait of a very charming and engaging, larger-than-life figure. Three and a half stars. Thank you.